take on a few shifts a little more of the pretty play rather than the key play to get them in on net. Right, and, and sometimes that's a good problem to have because it means your players have the skill set to try to accomplish that pretty play. But yesterday, um, without some of the main distributors um, like Flanagan, that's uh, you want to do the simple thing in Montreal's I mean, team. The slightly modified top line with Elizabeth Jaguer's absence, that's Dempsey, Gable, and Thunstrom. And Dempsey goes top shelf and scores! Who else but the captain to get it started for the Boston Pride? It was some great work by all three members of that top line. Good. Out of these breaks, they tend to just come out swinging. And the previous moment, like you said, just the three of them combining for an almost goal. That is, There is a sliver of a window for Dempsey to get that through past to Garrett. They clear up, but not much farther beyond the red line. Olivia Zaputo, a good play there. 4.28 to go now in period number two. Boston still clinging to this one goal lead. Shot fired almost with the empty net in front of her. Kim Deshine couldn't get the rebound clearly on her stick or else this game surely would have been 1-1. One -one. And Salvez, Batiste tries to take the puck away from her. Now wrap around, try, rebound, they score! Finally, the patience pays off for the Montreal Force, and it's Jade Downey Landry with just 2.47 to go in the second period. 1-1 at Warrior Ice Arena of the season, and a great example of patience paying off. Great job by Batty to get that puck free, and then Downey Landry goes top shelf. Well, these two collaborate so well, and yeah, just misses the first opportunity after earning the puck back, goes right into the Taylor Lova. Souza looking for that pass, will get it back to the left point. Across D to D, here is Taylor Baker, into the high slot, unable to get a shot off Catherine Dubois, but Baker gets the rebound, rebound, big save by Kareen Schroeder, as she goes left to right, robbery of Dubois. By the Montreal captain, and sophie Batiste, she took a pride player with her. Into the offensive zone, Christina Poutinia, goal scorer yesterday for the pride, she tries to get a second one here, and Aguirre the has the answer. 56 seconds. Again, tries to send that pass across. They had that late defender coming in there. That was Dodaline. That one picked off by Rowe. And Boston able to get a clear. And now off to the races. Here comes McKenna Brand. She's in alone with the backhand. Huge save. Tracy and Aguirre. Short-handed. Five. And Fratkin will take it back up along the right wing. She's pestered all the way. Numbers for the Boston Pride. Fratkin shoots and scores! Kaylee Fratkin, she can't believe it! Out of the box, up the right wing, and the snipe goes in! 2-1 Boston Pride with just over two minutes left in regulation. Take a look at this replay out of the box and off to the races. Fends off Christine Dodaline, top shelf. Thank you very much. Well, that's just beautiful play, and, and obviously when you get a penalty, you, you're always kind of reflecting in the box about what you've just done, and you saw Montreal have so many chances, including... Them, ...who I think has been the facilitator of just pucks on net, firing every shot away from the blue line, and they get it back to her right on cue. Quick one-timer from Downey Landry, goes off of the body of Jenna Rowe, who has had a plethora of great blocks today, and the final buzzer will sound a 2-1 win in regulation, for the Boston Pride. Hugs all around as well for Kareen Schroeder. Nearly 50 saves in this game.